The following is a presentation of The Day. Thanks for joining us. This is Rick Coster, live from The Telegraph in New London. And this is uh, another episode of our live lunch break series, which is renowned, uh, not just in our solar system, but many others as well. Today we have uh, with us Sandy Sandman Allen, familiar to all in the region as a multi-instrumentalist singer, songwriter. <laughs> easy, for, easy for me to say. Um, you know him from such bands as the Julios, of course played with Daphne, one of our hosts here, and a lot of his own solo material, including an album I gushed about a few years ago, if I remember correctly, called Horses to Water. So we're glad to have Sandy Allen, the Sandman, at live lunch break. Sandy? Thank you, Rick. <laughs> It was early in the spring of 69 Brisk and burly, in like a lamb, out like a lion He was 19, wishing that he was 21 You ought to see Willie run Still in trade school, we got a drunk and played pool all night long. You learn how to play cool. Nobody's fool where he belongs. You met a woman, I guess that every young man does. You ought to see how Willie was. He was just a nine to five Trying to get on with his life She was just a juke joint jiver Determined to be somebody's wife She was breezy, not too bright but easy on the eye Double taker she was, a troublemaker on the slack. She was younger and in her hunger jumped the gun. She said, Willie boy, I'm gonna have a little one. at home now he tells me the old lady won't let him have no fun still he gets the urge to roam now he gets the urge to run wild and free just like he done when it was early in the spring of 69 Brisk and burly, come in just like a lamb, out like a lamb. He was 19 and wishing that he was 21. You ought to see how Willie run. You ought to see how Willie run. See Willie boy. Will it run? Will it run? 
Coming out, folks. Uh, I think I'm warmed up now. A little froggy still. I've been up for hours, but it's still early in the day. I did a new one here. It's called uh, State of the Empire. I grew up in New York State. The Empire State. <laughs>
Let's sing another old one. It's called Family Pie. About the folks I grew up with. <laughs> Makes the airplanes and my brother makes them fly. My sister is a waitress serving apple pie. My mother was a dance hall girl till my father threw her head around. But I'm just another son heading for another time. I'm trying to make a living and I'm trying. Some woman feel like a wife, but as I leave another, I still can hear her say, He's got a way with words, and now he's got a way. Thanks for joining us on Live Lunch Break. We do this every Thursday, stream live from theday.com. We are in the Telegraph, which is uh, sort of our now home away from home, thanks to uh, Rich and Daphne for hosting us. Uh, a great place to... Well, so I, Sandy, I was, of course, paying attention to your lovely tunes, but I also found some old Almond Brothers stuff that I wanted over there. So it's hard to do something in a record store like this because... We're surrounded by music. Speaking of which, Sandy Allen is our guest, the Sandman, one of the most versatile and best loved uh, musicians in our region. But it's not just regional, because going back to when I was in college, I bought an album by a band called Free Beer. Oh, you're the guy. And guess who was in the band all these years later? So you've been in actual two different major label bands. What was that like? What was that? Here's a microphone. Oh, the microphone. Yeah. Uh, well, it was a long time ago. <laughs> there was a music business back then. I don't. I don't have a clue about the music business today. I. I don't know. The, these younger folks seem to have a handle on it. But uh, in those big record companies, uh, Buddha, RCA, 
uh, Atlantic Capital. Yeah, not Capital. Not yet. I, I was on. I was on those three. Buddha. Oh, I see what Atlantic, you're saying. Yeah. Uh, and uh, big fish. It was small fish. Big pond. You know, it was not. Uh, we were a tax write-off most of the time. <laughs> but we how many of good, us, real good music? But it was a, there was a lot of good music from both those bands. We were on RCA. Uh, Elvis died, and they they just started printing Elvis records and dropped a lot of bands from the yes. label at that point. And that's the fickleness of the business, or at least as it was then. But, but I, I, not to make excuses, I, I shot myself in the foot too. So how did you do I'm, that? I'm, I'm not trying to have a. a "Quote unquote career at my age. I, just, <laughs> I can't stop playing. I just can't stop." All right. So that's one thing that I think is beautiful is that, however, the business or the the, the paradigm of the of the music industry is, there are folks like yourself to whom this is an art and it's something very serious and it's life fulfilling. And so, whatever whether you're on a major label or whether you're playing clubs, when you get up in the morning, you think about music. Absolutely, and and go to sleep. Uh, <laughs> yes, it was never about fame and fortune. I mean, there's always a moment where you think maybe that's going to happen. People start telling you that's what's going to happen to you, and, and uh, so you daydream and all that. But uh, no, I didn't. I didn't want to be one of the uh, one of those one of those folks. You know, the, the, those people. You, Fame and fortune just not my not, not in my uh, stars. But well, music definitely. Music definitely, and you landed at a, as you alluded to in the second song you played. Uh, you know, you're from New York. You played on the West Coast. You've toured all over. You ended up in this part of the world, and we've got a very fertile music scene going on. You have no problem staying busy. No, no problem staying busy at all. That's, I, uh, that's a good thing. I was too busy for a couple of well, I yeah, I was too busy for a while. Spread too thin. Uh, I'm not real busy right now. I'm not here to promote anything because I'm not really doing anything, but except playing music. I work too. I gotta work. You did refuse. I you. mean, other than music. Work. Other than music. Um, since you're not, as you said, not particularly busy right now, are you in fact? strategizing a follow-up to horses to water strategizing is a good word i'll use i'll use that one yeah thank you Rick. <laughs> <laughs> that's what i'm here for sandman that's what i'm here I have, for i have enough material to make three or four cds i, just, I suspect albums it. but i uh, haven't uh, it's tough it's tough Life is life is busy otherwise, and uh, I, I do my best to incorporate music into everything I do. It's just kind of a I'm just a kind of a Zen guy. I just I, I have music in my head all the time. So if I if I don't appear to be paying attention to someone to you in a conversation, I apologize. But there's something going on in my head that I have to pay attention to. In that spirit, I'm fascinated by the songwriting process that people have some approach it like literally a day at the office i will write they will sit down at the piano or guitar from nine to noon or others just and there are times when that's that's necessary but do you find that the best stuff comes from the i will sit down and do my homework or the free-flowing hey this tune magically appeared i'm a lazy guy (laughs) i when it comes to songwriting so uh, the, the the part that comes out of the blue is uh, that's the uh, that's the best part. That's the gift. Then I start editing. You know, that's what happens. So yeah. I let the editor in and, and take her with it. Then there's a then there's a uh, give and take that happens until the song is quote unquote finished, where you know I I try to put it in a box. It tries to flow. I try to wrestle it into the thing and and come out with I'm getting much better at just letting them come out that's a good because time is uh, start thinking about time when there's more of it behind you than there is ahead of you <laughs> we're talking with Sandy Allen and thank you guys for watching uh, on the day.com this is live lunch break Sandy I'm Rick Coster I want to ask you one more question before we let you get back to it um, because as we 
said it is a very fertile musical region, and you have worked not just solo but in a variety of different uh, combinations, uh, most notably maybe the Julios. But is it equally fulfilling, but maybe in a different way, when you are in a a side role or you're playing someone else's material? Is it as much fun as when you're doing standing here doing your own stuff? More fun, probably. Really? Sometimes. It's it's a freer thing. You know, playing, uh, I've, that's what I've been doing most of the 50 years I've been doing this, is playing in somebody's band. Right. Or in a couple of bands. It's, and part of that is uh, lack of ambition on my part. <laughs> I can admit that now. <laughs> uh I have a lot of fun playing with other people, but I have to do this. This is like therapy. Right. The songwriting and, and uh, performing my own stuff is just, I try to keep my chops. I've been, I've been building a fence for the last couple of weeks, so my hands are <laughs> I get it. happy to be wrapped around a guitar. As instead, opposed to a hammer. In, instead of, yes, sledgehammers and shovels. And, well, these are all the multifaceted components of the Sandman, and we are fortunate to have him here today. So would you do us the honor of playing two or three more? I sure will. Thanks a lot. This is the Sandman, Sandy Allen. I wrote this song to, to my muse. It's called Smile and... Uh, I always forget the title. It's that new. Uh, Smile and Stop Pretending. Rick and I just touched on uh, some of what this song is about, if it's about anything. Used to worry about the road I chose. I guess I had to second guess. Now, the further down this road I go, I know every step's been blessed. And when I'm visiting my past these days, Look around and let it go Cause I don't wanna live so fast these days I just want to let it flow I got a crowd of friends around me Got a lot of loved ones who passed on when I feel the love surrounds me, I know they're not really gone. Nobody's really gone. But that one unanswered glance. I wouldn't dance these moments that memory brings. And when the music plays, what I had to say slips away until I sing. So I sing. Carrying this tune around I had it humming in my head It's just a melody with breath and sound Waiting for 
something to be said. And now the tune is walking me around. But while I'm waiting on the words, I wait in silence for that seashell sound where my muse is born. She says the song is never ending In a voice so warm and clear I want to smile and stop pretending I'm not listening to the only voice I hear I'm gonna smile and stop pretending I'm not listening to the only I hear when she speaks the only voice I hear when she sings and when she sings the only voice I want to hear Thanks. A short song, shortest, perhaps the shortest song I ever wrote, and one of my favorites of mine. It's called Getting There as a Drag Sometimes. I wrote it about 45 years ago, probably. Sorry, yeah, at least that long. <laughs>
one more? see if I can get through this one. Uh, I started this song as a memorial to my mother and uh, ended up, uh, didn't finish it. My father, uh, when my father passed away, I uh, finished it. It's called Ancient Light. It's really an optimistic song. It's not as uh, dismal as I made it sound. There. Light years and lifetimes Distances untold Step by step, day by day Your story will unfold Right outside my back door If you stand on my back step and raise your gaze just a little after the sun has set through the branches of the willow where my mama's laid to rest for a while the only brightness in the sky the ancient light of venus find your eye where we see it shines for lovers Wishes coming true, you may say there is no proof, but I believe them. And there's about a million others out there who give or take a few. Some have been gone for years and years. Still we see them. Maybe somewhere out there we shine just as bright. Maybe we are someone else's ancient light A child beside the ocean my toes dug in the sand Seems like only yesterday I held my daddy's hand And now I'm scattering his ashes Trying to face it like a man As sure as I am here and he is gone Like the ancient light of Venus He lives on well, they say it shines for lovers For wishes coming true You may say there is no proof But I believe them And there's about a billion others out there Give or take a few Some have been gone for years and years Still we see them Maybe somewhere out there we shine just as bright Maybe we are someone else's ancient light Maybe we are someone else's ancient light Beautiful, Thank you. beautiful Sandy yeah. Allen, the Sandman, thank you for joining us today. Always a pleasure. You can still find uh, Water to Ho Horses to Water. You can still find the free beer albums. You can probably even find the Papa Nebo albums, right? Papa Nebo. Papa Nebo, see? You might be able to.
All it's right. Cost you, it's going to cost you. <laughs> Money well spent. Thank you. This is Rick Coster for the day.com live lunch break. Next week right here at the Telegraph, we will have Pocket Vinyl, and I believe they're getting ready to release a new CD right out of this uh, this organization, right? It's going to be good. Cool. All right, Sandy, thank you. You guys have a great weekend.